and then obviously within the Super League in Russia, he's uh, you know the best young player in in their league, really. Uh, so we're obviously excited about that. When you get into specifics, you know, talking to our scouts, they really like the fact that he's got a high level of skill. Um, he's got a, he's a bit of a creative thinker. You know, there's a good imagination there, but that he really has a, a head and a hockey instinct for the game that allows him to really exhibit his skill and have the have the success you hope for with a guy that's gifted like that. You know, so it's um you know obviously something we're really excited about. And like with all of our young guys, we'll be prudent in how we bring him along, but we're. We're excited to see him on the ice uh, in our development camp and just get a feel for where he is firsthand. When you obviously you have a lot of experience with international hockey, you're familiar with the Russian league from years past. When you hear that this is a guy who broke Pavel Bure's rookie goals record, knowing what Pavel Bure looked like as a, as a young player, probably you were in that era, what, what does that make you think about this kid's potential? Well, it's certainly lots of it. Um, you know, you have to respect the fact that uh, you know those records are pretty impressive, and uh, the fact of the matter is this young fellow you know broke those records and. and Again, without having really any idea of what he looks like on the ice, the one thing I don't want to do is fall into the trap of thinking that he skates like Pavel, right. he carries himself like Pavel, or anything like that. I, I understand this kid's going to write his own his own story. There's no question about that. But you just can't help but be excited that you know when you can have that kind of success in one of the better leagues in the world um, as a young player. Uh, you know, certainly you have to you have to think that should we bring him along properly, and we anticipate that we will, that we'll have a terrific player on our hands. Um, some of the top Russian picks from the last several years, Kovalchuk, uh, Ovechkin, Malkin, these guys have had a real impact fairly early in their careers. Uh, what is it about the Russian, the top, the top level Russian players that's become such a factor in the league? I think there's a couple of things that have happened. Certainly, they you know they're they're playing in in their super league. They're you know they're not playing junior, if you will. They're playing adult hockey. For First and foremost, and, and it is intense, and it's very well coached, and they do pay particular attention to the development of the players' skills. Um, you know, they kind of pay attention to kind of the artistry of playing, if you will, as opposed to the emotion of playing. And what these young guys, I think, have exhibited here in the last couple of years is, is they have a passion to play and uh, a real desire to come to North America to do that. So you can't help but a hope, you know, that Alexi feels similarly, and b that he pulls off exactly the same thing. Uh, do you think there will be uh, room for, not necessarily one of these draft picks, but some room for some rookie faces uh, this season? Uh? You sure hope so. I mean, uh, again, we continue to identify with you know the integration of young people into our lineup. Uh, you know, We promised our fans a number of years ago that we wanted to retool our team and redefine ourselves through you know uh, our, our own process of identifying young guys. And um, we, you know, that's certainly our intention again. Um, I anticipate that we'll have a, you know some young faces in our lineup again coming up. And um, it, it looks good for us. Uh, you know, the bottom line is that they'll be in our lineup when they're ready.